Welcome back, everyone. Mika here, and I am joined with a very special guest. Give it up for Anjali Bamani, the voice of Symmetra. So thank you so much for joining us today. This is so exciting. And Symmetra is one of the most beloved heroes in our game. Our crowd here goes crazy whenever Symmetra is played. So how do you feel to have your voice attached to such an iconic and favorite hero? Uh, it's, it's, it's really one of the most amazing things in my life. I'm so, I'm humbled, I'm grateful. The community surrounding this game is one of the most powerful forces I have ever seen known to man. The creativity, the kindness, the cosplay, the fan art. Everybody is so embracing and everybody is so, um, it's just so good that it's a, it's a wildly humbling thing. We have a wholesome community here at Overwatch. And Symmetra has so many great voice lines in this game, but do you have a personal favorite? Ugh, it's so hard. It's like picking your favorite child. You can't do it. Um, I do love that good old standby, welcome to my reality. I like that one because it's a little bit like, you're in my world now. But, um, but the ultimate, I mean, come on. When that ultimate, when that new ultimate came out, that line, uh, I, I, it's kind of like my justice reigns from above. It's so like <laughs> so powerful. I am loving it. And Symmetra is one of the few Indian female characters in any major video game. And we just got to talk about how important is it to have characters of all different backgrounds represented in gaming today. I think it's as important to do that in gaming as it is in the world. And it's not just characters of all different backgrounds, but characters of all different levels of complexity. Because none of us are defined by any one characteristic. We're not defined by where we're from. We're not defined by our sexuality. We're not defined by our gender. We're not defined by our color. We're all a combination of all the things that make us us. And so the more we see ourselves or our stories represented, the more we see a hero that we can identify with, the more we can identify a hero in ourselves. And I think that's really, really, really important in our day and age because we need, because the world needs more heroes. I'm getting emotional. This is, you are preaching to the choir here. And as part of International Women's Day today, how does it feel to be such a strong female role model working in the entertainment industry to everyone, including myself? <laughs> Even just hearing that, and, and uh, this might be a little too vulnerable to say, just hearing that makes me just go, I'm not a role model. But what we realize is, it, what it makes me realize is that every single person now, especially with social media and the internet, all of us have a voice. And because all of us have a voice, all of us, it's incumbent upon all of us. It's a responsibility that we all have to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. Because someone is listening, someone who needs you, someone who needs support, someone who needs inspiration, someone out there is hearing what you have to say. So you are a role model, no matter who you are, to someone else. So to me, it feels like a tremendous responsibility and I'm really grateful to have it. You're such a beautiful soul. Like, I, I can't. And lastly, do you have a message that you'd like to share with all the women that make up this beautiful Overwatch community? Oh my God, absolutely. Um, you know, there are so many, there are many things and many people and institutions and whatever that are outside of you that will tell you you can't. But nothing, absolutely nothing will be more debilitating than the voice inside you if it says I can't. So skip over I can't. I can't is, I was gonna use a, a, a curse word and I can't. Um, I can't, uh, that's the only I can't I will let you use. But I can't isn't, isn't something that should register for you. Skip over I can't and go straight to I do. Because it doesn't matter what obstacle you're facing, whether it's, it's a toxic conversation in the game or it's people outside of you, whether it's a, a school or an institution or anything, the, the part of you that says you can and that can believe past what you see as possible, and into creating realities that you know to be possible, that's the most important thing because, because you were meant for greatness. Thank you so much for joining us, Anjali. This has been such an inspiration to, I'm sure, so many people, and I'm serious when I say I'm so emotional right now. You're such an amazing person, so thank, thank you for joining me. Thank you, thank you guys for having me. And now, in honor of International Women's Day, we also want to give a special shout out to Girls Who Code. Blizzard has shared a partnership with Girls Who Code since 2018 to sponsor two major programs, a summer immersion program at Blizzard HQ and after school clubs. Last year's summer immersion program included 19 girls who spent time not only learning coding, but also gaining exposure to tech jobs through mentorships with women at Blizzard and workshops as well as various dev teams. We are also thrilled to announce that this year, the Overwatch League is donating $10,000 to Girls Who Code. And for more information, about, right? 
For more information about the organization, head over to girlswhocode.com and be a part of an awesome cause. And that's it for me. That's it for Anjali for now. So let's set it up back on to Mitch and Matt.